But let's use the example of back in the day when astronauts went into outer space for the first time. When these astronauts went into outer space, they were these really fit astronauts. And they came back after being in space for an extended period of time with pretty much no gravity. And they went to their physicals and they found that their bone density went down from anywhere from 15 to 20 percent. And so what was happening is we had the osteoclasts outpacing the osteoblasts and were resorbing more bone tissue because there was no stimulus or strain on the bone. So in a way, bone is kind of a use it or lose it tissue. Your bone's like, well, if I'm not going to be dealing with any stresses or strains, why would I maintain this extra bone tissue? But let's use the other example. Let's say I decide to start an exercise program. I start running, putting compressive forces on my bone. I combine that with resistance training. That's going to start to stimulate the osteoblasts to outpace those osteoclasts and bone density is going to go up. And this is one of the reasons why exercise is such a great thing for long-term bone health.